Hello folks, John here from Going Cuba Catapults. I've had about six or seven messages recently all asking the same question. And that is, can you please put a video on how to make the elastic rig? Unfortunately, I don't have time to make another one as I'm flat out in my catapults. But I will talk you through this one telling you exactly how I made it, the stuff you'll need and give you all the measurements. First thing you'll need is the base. It's just a piece of 4x1 timber. You can use any timber you want, hardwood, softwood. Base measures 12 inches long, one foot. You need the two posts each side. These are 2 by one timber. Again, any timber you can use. These measure five and a half inches each. Okay, so you've got your base cut and you've got your two posts cut. Simply screw your post onto the side like so using one screw. I have one screw which is about four or five inches long, goes right the way up the post. Same again the other side. So you've got your two posts screwed on. Your post will not be so sturdy at first until you put these supports in. The supports are again cut out of 2v1 timber, any timber you want. I've mitered these especially to fit in there with 45 degree angles. Screw going into the post, screw going into the base. And then once that's done, your post will be solid, won't move at all, never bend or anything. Same on the other side. These are the clamps I use. I had these off eBay, there's about a pound each, practically next to nothing. They're screwed on, screw that side, another screw that side. It's a very sturdy rig, this. You know, it's, I've made hundreds of pouches on it, it hasn't moved once. Uh, it's important when you get your clamp to sand the top jaw and the bottom jaw of the clamp as it might damage your ferroband if there are any sharp things sticking out of it. Also, another really important thing, the gap in between your two clamps should be six inches. Don't do it no bigger, don't do it no smaller. This has been tested by me and is the perfect gap to make pouches. If you want to know any more on how to make your pouches or how to load the rig, please view my other videos. You'll also see me using the rig in my other videos. Uh, if there's any more questions or any advice you would want, please message me. So I hope that was helpful for you folks. Thanks.